language channel. Our Give Me Five strategy is an excellent way to build your child's oral language. I'm Kendra. And I'm Melody. Give Me Five is a way for you to strengthen your child's vocabulary. Every day you should talk, read, create, play, and sing with your child. Taking these simple steps on a daily basis will help prepare your child for later academic success. Give Me Five. The first step of Give Me Five is talk. That seems so simple, doesn't it? Just talking to your child, but that's a great way to build oral language. And oral language is the foundation for later academic success. Every conversation, interesting expression, and new vocabulary word that you introduce your child to builds on that oral language foundation. We need to make connections from words they already know to new words so they'll stick in the brain. June is National Dairy Month, and it provides the perfect opportunity to um, tell your child some new and interesting vocabulary words and make some connections to words they already know. Your child probably already knows all about milk. So when you're pouring a glass of milk, well, it's a perfect time to talk about other words. Tell your child that milk is a dairy product. Did you know it's a dairy product because it comes from a dairy cow? So what are some other dairy products you might ask? Well, there's butter, cheese, ice cream, sour cream, yogurt, cottage cheese. So many foods are made out of milk and are dairy products. Do you know which one is your child's favorite? It's a great question to ask. Which product is? and tell them yours. This is a great opportunity to work on turn taking, which is a necessary part of having a conversation. You speak, your child speaks. You speak, your child speaks. A great opportunity uh, to practice a skill that they'll need when they go to school. What's my favorite dairy product, you ask? It's cheese. You might notice I have a plate full of cheese right here in front of the camera. Cheese comes in all sorts of flavors and colors. There's so many opportunities to build language for your child. I have a wedge of cheese, a block of cheese, some cubes. And did you know that cheese even comes in wheels? Great words to add to your child's vocabulary. And as you notice, there are many colors of cheese up here. Some cheese is orange. Cheddar is orange. American cheese is orange. One of my favorite cheeses is Gouda. It's a light yellow color. Some cheeses almost white, mozzarella and Swiss. Did you know that Swiss has holes in it? I'm gonna let you look that up of why it has holes in it, but kids love to stick their fingers in those holes. Makes a great opportunity for language. If you're serving your child a little cube of cheese, it's a nice little child size uh, serving of cheese, you might take the opportunity to say, what else do you know that comes in a cube? Give your child some thinking time. They might come up with sugar cubes, or they might tell you that dice are cubes. Lots of things are made, are, are, that are made to look like cubes. So we could move on. What's something that's a wedge that they might see in everyday life? Have they ever been up a ramp? When you turn the cheese to look like this, it looks like they could just ride their bike or walk right up a ramp. A wedge is a ramp. Lots of things that you can talk about while you're serving cheese. And you can remind them it's a dairy product because it's made out of milk. You could also talk about what cheeses go on what food. Mozzarella is a great cheese that's served on pizza. Did you know that you could probably put other, pizza, other kinds of cheese on pizza? But would it taste so good? What a great question to ask your child. Maybe you could have an experiment to see, see what you think. Now it's your turn. What do you think is your child's favorite dairy product? Do you think maybe they are going to say ice cream? Hmm, there's so much to talk about with ice cream. You could talk about the flavor, you can talk about the color, you can talk about the texture, you can talk about that it's frozen. You could ask what other foods are frozen that we eat? Lots of opportunity for your child to think and for you to have conversation um, with your child about food. You're serving your child food three times a day. And so in June, in National Dairy Month, as you're thinking about cheese and ice cream and yogurt and butter and all those other delicious foods, 
Think about ways that you could talk to your child every day about everything you do. The second step in Give Me Five is read. Reading quality picture books to your child is one of the very best gifts you can give your child. When you read a picture book to your child, you are exposing their brains to rich, complicated sentence structure that they will encounter all of their lives in academic work. Complex sentences are not prevalent in our everyday conversations with children or anyone else for that matter. We tend to speak in simple, direct sentences and sometimes just in words and phrases and we don't even speak in complete sentences. The language of books tends to be much richer and more descriptive than ordinary talking. Books are comprised of sentences from simple to compound to complex. When your child hears the language of books, he begins to understand the patterns of language and understand how words work together. Books, quality books, quality picture books, provide richer, more sophisticated language that your child needs to hear as he is developing his oral language vocabulary. The library is a perfect place to get these wonderful picture books for your child. And in honor of National Dairy Month, we have a few books sitting in front of you from Gorilla Loves Vanilla to The Milk Makers from Gail Gibbons. This is one of my favorites and it's an informational book. It's full of facts. It's not a story. It's just full of information. And an informational book, you don't have to read the entire thing at one time. You can just camp out on a page or two and learn all the information there. And the next day, maybe go on to the next page. I'm just gonna show you a couple of pages. On the very first page, well, of course, there's the title page, but on the first page of text, it says, cows are grazing in an open meadow. They are dairy cows, the milk makers. There's lots of information to talk about on this page, whether it's just identifying the pictures, these are dairy cows. Oh, there's a fence around the field. Why do you think the fence is there? Do you think your child would understand that the fence is to keep other things from getting in to hurt the cows and to keep the cows in place so they don't get out? Also, it tells about the fact that milk comes from dairy cows. And at the back of this book, is another great page. It has a list of dairy products, and we talked about that earlier in talking. Milk, um, milk is made into cheese and butter and ice cream, and this is a great graphic to talk about all those things and make connections uh, with your child about the foods that they eat. Kids love to learn information, and then they can tell you the fun facts that they learned. Another great one that I want to share with you is Gorilla Loves Vanilla. It's a narrative or a story. It has a character, it has characters, a setting, and a plot. And the plot means that it has a storyline and there's a problem to solve. I'm just gonna read you a couple of pages from Gorilla Loves Vanilla and we're gonna talk about a couple of those things. If you take a walk down Jellybean Street, there's a wonderful place you can go for a treat. A fabulous store full of yummy ice cream, the kind of ice cream that makes everyone beam. You could ask your child if they know what beam means. It means to smile really broadly. Let's try it out. Little Sam Sunday is known as the king of cones and wafers and flavors that zing. And one sunny day as Sam opened the store, five hungry animals dashed through the door. First in the line was a mouse who squeaked, please, may I have a sundae that tastes of blue cheese? What? what? What does blue cheese even taste like? Would that be a good ice cream flavor? Oh, so many opportunities to, for you to stop and talk to your child. And then of course, another character that's going to come in is the gorilla. The clue that maybe he just wants a plain little flavor like vanilla is in the title. So please read to your child good quality picture books and take the time to talk about the words that are in the books and make connections to their world outside. Thanks for listening. Remember, give me five. Almost done.
Number three in the give me five is create. You should create something with your child every day. Creating a craft or a recipe helps him to learn to follow directions and teaches him about the world around him. Watch as we make butter using heavy whipping cream and condiment cups. Remember, doing these kinds of activities with your child helps expand their oral language. Give me five. Oh, okay. We're going to make butter. Have you ever made butter before? No. Okay, this is what we do. We got this little container. This looks like the little containers. We got these at Walmart, and these look like the little containers that you get like your ranch dressing when you go to the store. I mean, go to the restaurant, right? So we've got some heavy whipping cream. Can you say that? Yeah. Heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. And let me shake this up a little bit. And then we're going to pour a little bit of this in there. About not even halfway full. Is that not even halfway full? No. Okay, and then we're gonna put this lid on it and make sure that lid is really tight like that. And then we're gonna shake. You gotta hold it on top and hold it on bottom and shake it. Can you shake it? There's a little saying you can say along with this. You want to do it with me? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the line and you're going to say the line. Okay. Butter, butter, shake, shake, shake. Butter, butter, shake, shake, shake. Mary's waiting at the gate. Mary's waiting at the gate. Mary's waiting for her cake. Mary's waiting for her cake. Butter, butter, shake, shake, shake. Butter, butter, shake, shake, shake. Now you want to do it together? Butter, butter, shake, shake, shake. Mary's waiting at the gate. Mary's waiting for her cake. Butter, butter, shake, shake, shake. Now we're finished shaking it and we're gonna open it up and see what it is. Look here. What do you see? I see butter. You see butter. So we have butter and buttermilk. And we're gonna pour the buttermilk off. Ooh, hear the rumble. And we're gonna get the butter on the plate. We're gonna move this over. This is taking that as long as I saw it work. Okay, now I want you to get a pretzel. And I want you to dip it in. I want you to like that again. Yeah. Number four in Give Me Five is to play. Games are wonderful opportunities to gauge your child in conversation. Anything can be made into a game, even scooping ice cream balls into a bowl, competing with another child, or timing your child. An extension of this activity might be having your child balance ice cream balls on the cone as they walk along a line on the floor. Watch as I do some of these activities with my grandson, Brecken. Listen for ways you can incorporate language with your child. Remember, give me five. Now what we're going to do, we emptied the ice cream back in the dish, and now what we're going to do is I'm gonna give you a bow, mm -hmm. and I'm going to see how many, how long it takes you to get a triple scoop of ice cream in this. What does a triple scoop mean? That means you get different colors, a lot of colors in there. And how many would triple be? Triple is one, two, three scoops of ice cream. So I'm gonna count and I'm gonna see how fast you can get a triple scoop of ice cream in this bowl. Ready, go. Eleven. It would have been a lot less had you not dropped one. Okay, now we're going to do a, that's okay. Now we're going to do double scoops. What is double scoop? That's right, double scoop is two. So let's see how fast it takes you to do a double scoop. Ready, go. Five. <laughs> that's pretty good. Now in this bowl, we're going to do a single scoop. How many would be a single? <gasps> Very good, ready? 
three. Oh, you did that a lot faster, didn't you? Good job. Now we have some what? You thought they were party hats. They're party hats like this, aren't they? Looky there, you got a party hat. I have a party hat. But like this is going to be a, it's going to be an ice cream cone. I would, tell me, I want you to pick a, a, a color of ice cream, a flavor of ice cream, and I want you to scoop it in there, and I want you to tell me what you're scooping. Use a whole sentence. I'm, I'm scooping bubblegum. I'm putting, I'm scooping bubblegum ice cream. Oh, does that look like an ice cream cone now? But it's actually, it's really a party hat. It's really a party <laughs> We're pretending it's an ice cream cone, okay? Yeah. Okay, so can you do one more for me? You gotta tell me what you're doing as you're doing it. What kind is that? I'm putting blue, a scoop of blueberry in there. Oh, yummy, yummy! That blueberry ice cream comes come, ice cream ball is coming apart, I think. So, which one would you choose if this were real ice cream? Would you choose the blueberry or the bubble gum? The bubble gum. Take it and act like you're licking it. Ooh, yummy ice cream. Last but not least on Give Me Five is singing. Children love to sing. Songs introduce your child to the rhythm of our language. Children's songs are, are often full of rhyming words. The ability to recognize and generate rhyme is an important early literacy skill. Sing with your child every day to help them build this skill. Watch as we sing a fast-paced song about ice cream. Remember, give me five. Okay. We're gonna watch this video on YouTube and um, it's a song about ice cream. Why are we talking about ice cream? Because it's National Dairy Day. Dairy Month. Dairy, dairy Month. And ice cream is a dairy product, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to watch this video and you can watch it right here with me. And um, I'm going to try to sing with because it goes really, really fast. Yes. But what I want you to do is listen to some words that rhyme. You remember about rhyming words from school? Okay, you know about rhyming words, right? They all sound the same at the end. That's right. Okay, so are you ready to listen? Yeah. Okay. Ice cream, ice cream, we love ice cream. Yummy, yummy, fun, fun, yummy, fun, yum. Ice cream's yummy in my tummy, tum, tum. Cold and creamy, swirly, creamy, my tum, tum, tummy goes yum, yum, yum. Yummy, yummy, fun, fun, yummy, fun, yum. Ice cream's yummy in my tummy, tum, tum. Cold and creamy, swirly, creamy, my tum, tum, tummy goes yum, yum, yum. Yummy, yummy, fun, fun, yummy, fun, yum. Ice cream's yummy in my tummy, tum, tum. Cold and runny when it's hot and sunny, my tum, tum, tummy goes yum, yum, yum. Yummy, yummy, fun, fun, yummy, fun, yum. Ice cream's yummy in my tummy, tum, tum. Did you hear any rhyming words? Yeah. What did you hear? Did you hear tummy and yummy? Tummy and yummy. Yeah. Did you hear creamy and dreamy? Yeah. Do those rhyme? Yeah. What about runny and sunny? Can you think of another word that rhymes with sunny and runny? Uncle Cody is what? It's a word that rhymes with sunny and runny. And it starts with the sound. Somebody who makes you laugh is what? Sunny, runny, Funny. Funny. Okay. We hope you've enjoyed the video that goes along with our delicious dairy newsletter. As a parent, you are your child's first teacher. You play such a critical role in their life. Every day you have the opportunity to engage them in rich, meaningful conversations. We hope that you remember to give, give me five. five.